Thank you. So this is going to be a great year. I want to thank you again for your wonderful expectation this year. Our theme this year, this is our new logo, is Kingdom Law for Kingdom Living. Say it with me. Kingdom Law for Kingdom Living. Say it loud like you feel it. Kingdom Law for Kingdom Living. This is the voice of God for us this year. And this will be explained the whole year. This pin will be produced and distributed to everybody. We're going to remind ourselves wherever we go every single day that we are to live according to the laws of God. We are living under those laws everywhere we go so that we can experience the life that he promised if we obey his laws. And so we want to focus on that subject this year. I want to introduce this, which we did last week, uh, a little of it, during watch night. How many of you enjoyed watch night service? Wow. What a blessing. I don't know whether people just go after watch night. But you couldn't find a seat in this building. They were standing along the side. Where they are today, only God knows. Please write this down. Get a clean sheet of paper. Matter of fact, you probably want to buy a new book. 2010. We want to focus on the priority of law principles for kingdom living. The priority of law. The priority of principles in kingdom living. This will only be introduction, so we will basically give you a grasp of where we're going. And then we'll have communion together and be dismissed. I want to begin by taking you back a little bit, because God is always progressive on a journey. I call it our kingdom journey. We started teaching on the kingdom way back in 1984. Almost 30 years. And the past six years, we've been focusing intently on the kingdom being exposed to the outside world of this ministry. Millions of people have been impacted. I want to take you first, in, 19, in 2004 rather, when I began to concentrate on this message in earnest, we talked about the theme, rediscovering the kingdom. Many of you remember that. We wanted to reintroduce the whole concept of the kingdom to the community. Then in 2005, we focused on applying the kingdom, which has to do with righteousness. And in 2006, we focused on the kingdom culture of influence, how the kingdom influences our environment, our lives, our community. And then in 2007, we focused on the priority of the kingdom, where we got our concept of kingdom first. We focused on God's priority, which was stated by Jesus Christ. Seek ye first. God's priority. Then in 2008, we focused on kingdom culture, trying to understand that the kingdom is not a religion. It's a country with a culture, and the people of that kingdom should live in a certain way that has a culture that impacts their environment. We are not here to wait for a rapture. We are here to occupy until he comes. We are here to make a difference. And then in 2009, we focus on building a kingdom community, which is what culture is about. I am quite certain we did not cover that subject because I still have untaught scores of sessions I haven't touched. But I think we got the idea that God wants to build a community of people who represent his culture and experience his life. 
And one of the things that we talked about in that introduction series was that a culture is a product of law. And so it was very logical. What is the key to building a kingdom community on earth? That is what we must focus on 2000 and 